proving ground for some of the young players? I don't know about a proving ground, but uh, I am excited to get another opportunity to hook it up. Um, and we don't get many opportunities to play. So much of college coaching is the offseason. I'm excited that our guys, especially our young guys, get another opportunity to play. Um, it's going to be Josh's first time in the postseason in his career. Ticket has played in one NCAA tournament. Um, this will be his second postseason. So it's, I'm really excited for our young guys to get to play a ton of minutes. You guys like Galway and Rich Barron, more opportunity Rich play, is more not going to play. Uh, Rich sustained an injury the last game. Uh, he, he'll, he'll be out. But, um, an opportunity for him to play, yeah. you know, to play and keep getting better. Is Rich out for the whole tournament or just BC? Uh, right now he's out for this game and he'll continue to be evaluated. How about Devin? Uh, we're thinking about holding out, out uh, Devin. He hurt his ankle and he's just nursing a lot of other things in the last few weeks. So we're holding out. How much of that? How much of that is balanced in the future? <clears throat> Opportunity. Well, you just want to protect him right now. You know, he's not well. He's not healthy. So just, just want to protect him right now. What about the overall reception of the guys? I guess just in playing in the tournament. Um, they're excited to play. You know, basketball players like to play. Um, you know, I wish you know it was a rule of football where you know red shirts to play in the bowl games. If it's up to play, I would love that rule to be in basketball. I'd love for Eli to play and uh, Anton Bonk to, to play in this game. But um, you know, it's different. I guess Anton's a little different. But Eli is a uh, you know, guy who, who, who would be great if he could play. Kim, is there something you guys can carry over from this tournament to next year? I think yeah, I think so. You know, I look at Wisconsin last season participating, going far in the uh, the NIT, and then going coming into this season with some you know some experience and, and, and doing well. You know, I think so. I think it's great for these guys to experience postseason basketball um, and just some more reps and more time to play. I'm, I'm especially really looking at at Jaden Pierre. No, I wish we had Rich. I, I think it would have been great for him. And just as far as the play of your young guys last week, it seemed like Corey, Garway, and Jaden all had a pretty good tournament. Yeah, I thought Corey, outside of the Butler game and maybe the Georgia game, one of his best games, best, you know, multiple games of the season. Um, you know, Corey's such a great kid. Um, he wants to do well. I mean, he had a rough season at points, but we're really happy to see him. Have some success on the court. Kim, what's the balance right now? You know, today the portal opened and you guys are getting ready for a game as a staff. How do you kind of balancing the one day turnaround prep? You know, obviously kind of maybe plan for the future. Yeah, we're, we're a pretty big staff. Obviously, we're monitoring portal entries, but uh, you know, our focus is on this game. You know, that's, that's what's in, in front of us now. Um, you know, we'll, we'll watch the film, we'll practice, and get ready to we'll shoot around tomorrow. We'll, play a game. Critic never stops in college basketball, so we were pretty much in the long. Um, not much different from that now. Portal opening today, a lot of people say they'd rather it be after the national championship. What's your, what's your take on that? I don't, I mean, it, it, again, it's, it's, we just have to take what, you know, give it to us. So, so we, um, you know, have to adapt and adjust and you know, make it work as best we can. Anything you can take away from you know, the guys so Coach Grant when you were at Mason? Anything you can take away from that game? Or yeah, they played well. Personnel? They played well. They made a lot of tough minutes. Um, different team. Um, you know, obviously a different team. But um, Quentin Post is an NBA big. He rebounds and shoots it. Uh, scores inside. Uh, Jaden Zachary is a very talented guy. He plays really hard. He added to the shooting. Uh, Mason Madsen. Um, a really good team. Earl has gotten better each year at BC. More wins, declining in losses. Um, uh, won four out of that last five. Um, I, I think he's done a great job. You guys talked about mindset all season. So, what's the kind of overall mindset going into the NIT? Yeah, you know, it's too. Uh, it's it's obviously it's a little uh, deflating. You know, to you know to know your your fate is sealed. Last night, you know, you gave a few hours to. You know, uh, you know, complain just like after a loss. You let it hurt till midnight, and, and now it's time to move on. Um, 
Yeah, because the most important thing is which team is going to come out tomorrow and want to be there. Our guys really, really want to be there. Uh, we're going to play really hard. Um, and, and, and that's what's most important. It's an opportunity. It's a privilege. It's a privilege to play basketball. It's a privilege uh, to be at Providence College, to, to play on, on Dave Gavin Court. Um, and our guys are excited about the opportunity. We'll, we'll give you the opportunity to so much.